Hey everybody, this is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to make your Google TV billion times better. Now I'm using the Logitech uh, review and that's a box that you connect to any TV via HDMI but I also have a Sony Google TV which has Google TV built in. So I've been using this for years and I'm going to show you today how to side load some apps using Dropbox and your PC and you'll be able to download APKs, throw them in Dropbox, open it up on Google Chrome on your Google TV and get everything installed. So let's get started. First things first, let's hit our menu, our settings button uh, and go to system settings. And what you want to do is scroll down to applications. Once you're in applications, make sure you have unknown sources checked off by clicking and hitting OK. And now you got a check mark there. Now I'm running, uh, let's look and see what I'm running. I'm running version firmware version 3.2. This is the latest version. This the Logitech review has been completely uh, restored to factory and uh, we're going to get started now with this. So now you, on, if you go to the Google Play Store and you search certain apps, uh, you won't be able to find much there. There's not much there. Uh, so what you have to do is we're going to sideload. So let me take you to the Mac uh, or to a Windows PC and we can, I can show you how to do all this. So let's switch over now. We're on the Mac, but like I said, you can use Windows or Mac. It doesn't matter. And basically I have my downloads folder open and I have a bunch of tabs in Google Chrome. Now, what I'm going to show you is that you should download uh, Dropbox for your computer. Uh, you click here, you, you, you download it, and what it will do is it will show up in your sidebar as like a drive or a folder. So here's Dropbox, and it's an actual folder on my computer, but it will also give you a menu icon here, and you can open it up, and you open up that Dropbox folder. So you have it installed on your PC. Now, I made a folder called GTV Sideload, and what we're going to do is we're going to throw these APKs in here. Now, how do we get the APKs? If you go to APK Downloader, this is a website, and I'll have the link in the description. Basically, you could throw a URL in from the uh, Play Store, uh, the web Play Store, and you'll be able to generate a download, and you download it right to your downloads folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a couple of apps and I'm going to show you what they are. So if you go to Showbox, uh, and I'll have the link in the description, you're going to install this app here. Now this app works on iOS, it works on Android, it works in uh, Google TV, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you go down and here it says download Showbox. So we're going to download Showbox and then there's a problem with uh, downloading Dropbox. Uh, I have Dropbox on my Google TV and here it is and what we need to do is we have to download a older version of Dropbox to work on the Google TV. Now currently the new version doesn't work on the Google TV but if you download 1.1 and I'll put the link in the description you'll download the older version of Dropbox. Now this is just for your, just for your Google TV uh, and it works uh, flawlessly. Now what we're going to also do, we have Showbox downloaded now and we have these sites. Now this is a website that we can actually open in Google Chrome. Uh, if you just wanted to do that you can and on um, the Google TV and you'll be able to get a bunch of TV shows and everything and I'll show you a little bit more about that in a second. Now the other thing you we're going to need is Advanced Task Killer and what that does it's going to speed up our computer because there's a lot of background apps running and we can shut them down before we visit these pages and we'll be able to have our uh, RAM optimized so that we can use it for these apps. There's also a automatic cache cleaner and what that's going to do it's going to clean up the cache. Now cache is a bunch of uh, images or some data from websites that install on your Google TV in this instance and it will definitely speed it up for the people who own the websites, but on your TV or your Google TV in Chrome, it'll kind of slow it down and build up. And the next thing you know, your uh, Google TV is running slow. Your Chrome and your Google TV is running slow. So how do we download this from the Google Play Store? There's no download button. Basically, you hit the install and it'll install on the particular device that you have. So uh, we won't be able to download this from Google TV or even to our Google TV, so we have to sideload it. So let's go and click on the link, 
and we right mouse button and we can copy it and we can go into APK uh, downloader, refresh it every time you put a new URL in there and then hit paste. And then you generate the link and now you can click here and it'll download the APK straight to your downloads folder. So now what's the next thing we need? We need um, the cache cleaner. So let's copy that and we'll throw it into APK. Let's refresh the page. Let's, we'll refresh the page and we'll put in our new uh, URL. We'll hit generate. Now you can only do this with free apps and uh, these apps are free. Now the paid ones you have to, uh, you know, you can't use this. So, but we're, we're going to use everything that's free today. So we're going to download that. Now we have all four of these files in our download folder. Simply, all you have to do is uh, select all of them and drag them right into your GTV side load on your Dropbox folder. Now we have Advanced Task Killer, we have that cache cleaner, we have the older version of Dropbox, and we have Showbox APK. So now let's go back over to the Google TV and I'll show you how to get this all working. Okay, we're back on the Google TV. And the first thing you want to do is hit that little magnifying button. And you want to type in Dropbox. And hit enter. And you go to Dropbox in Chrome. Uh, so www.dropbox.com forward slash home. So now Dropbox is going to open up. I'm already signed in, but basically what you're going to do is use your credentials. Now sign in with the same username and password that you used on your computer uh, in Dropbox. So that this way they're synced together and you can go to the cloud and pick out. Now see here I have Google TV side uh, load. So I'm going to open up Google TV side load. And I'll be able to install anything I want. First things first, let's install that older version of Dropbox. And what's going to happen? It's going to say download started. So once that's downloaded, we're going to hit the back button and we can install all the other ones that we need. So now let's install, let's download Showbox. Now Showbox will download. And like I said, you don't need the Dropbox um, application APK because you can just go to the web page and download things. But I always like to have the app. So I'm going to show you that in a second. So we go back and now we're going to do that cache cleaner. I'm going to clean up our web pages with that and then we have task killer and we'll kill all background tasks so now if you hit the back button or even hit the home button and you go into applications you can go to your default google tv downloader and you have all four of these so let's install dropbox we'll use package installer and we'll scroll down and install dropbox now dropbox will show up as an icon and, and an app and you can do that so we can open up dropbox and what's going to happen is it's going to open it up and you pretty much just sign in and use uh, dropbox that way so let's go ahead and sign in and the rest uh, we can do first. So let's go into downloads again and let's download the next thing. Let's do the uh, advanced task killer. We'll do that next. Package installer and basically you just install all four of these apps. They've been tested and they work great. So now let's go to cache. We'll get that. We'll install that and that will be installed. And now we'll go into show box and that's the app that has all those free TV shows. So we're going to go in there and we'll install that. So now, after this is installed, I'm going to show you how to configure some of these uh, of the four apps, and I'm going to show you how to fix it up. So let's go home, and we can now go into all apps, and we're going to see Advanced Task Killer. We're going to see the Oil Cache Cleaner, and we're going to see that Eyeball for Showbox. That's the app. And we also have Dropbox. So like I said, you can click on that, sign in, and then you have more of an app feel to Dropbox instead of going to the web page. Uh, in uh, Advanced Task Killer, if you open it up once here, and you agree, and you can what you can do is you basically have all these apps running in the background. It detects what's running in the background. I take the check mark off of uh, Advanced Task Killer, and I kill all background apps, and it's that simple. You could just kill, and then you can basically set this up also to do it automatically, but I like to manually go into it, because then when you go down here to your notifications, you have it set right up here, and you'll be able to uh, open it up right from here and kill all tasks. See, uh, Dropbox is always running. So now let's go into the cache one, and I'll show you that. Let's go home button, go into our draw, and we'll go into cache clean. And basically what it does is it searches and finds what cache is installed. So this is the apps that ran with all the cache. Uh, and it's going to save us about 520 uh, megabytes. So we go down to clear, we'll clear them up, and now there's no cache. And that will help speed up your computer uh, very fast. So now there's the, the eyeball thing over here, and it's Showbox. Now let me show you Showbox. If you open up Showbox for the first time, it's going to tell you to update to a newer version. Obviously the website uh, has an older version. So it's going to download a newer version, and it's going to have you install it. And in a second, we're going to get a pop-up to say, install that new update, and we're going to install that new update. So now we have it installed. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to show you all the goodness inside. 
and then I'll show you that other G2G website and you're gonna love it. So like I said, this works on Android and uh, jailbroken iOS devices. This is not rooted, uh, this Google TV. So basically you can scroll down and see all the great movies that you can stream. It runs HTML5, so it runs very fast. Uh, there's no formatting problems. Uh, there's no conversion needed to be done. So let's find a movie that we like. Uh, let's scroll down. Uh, let's see the newest movie. Uh, this one here. Let's watch this one. Uh, Tokarev. That's with uh, Nicolas Cage, and he's always fun to watch. So we use the mouse to uh, select what movie we want. And basically you click it, and it'll go to that page. And what you can do is you can add it to the library. You click it here. It's pretty much the favorites. And when you click on my library, you'll have your movies all in a row. I have one saved already from before. But here's the two movies that you have so that you don't have to go searching for it again if you didn't finish watching it. So let's go back to movies. Uh, we'll click on the actual movie itself. Uh, let's do let's do Robocop. Robocop is f pretty cool. Now we can go high, we can go medium, and we can go low. It all depends on what speed internet you have, of course. So I'll just keep it on medium for now. Now you can download these, but you're not going to want to do that because your Google TV doesn't have a lot of room. So let's just stream it. So we're going to use our mouse button, and we're going to click. And what it's going to do, it's going to open up a player. It's going to buffer a little bit, and then it'll start playing. Now if you get an error message like this, don't sweat it. Just hit wait and it will now load up that movie. And there it is, you have a movie, Robocop, playing totally free, it's still in the movie theater, and uh, you know, it looks good. So let's go back now, and I'm gonna show you TV shows now. And you get an advertisement pops up once in a while, don't sweat it, just click that, no big deal. Uh, you know, you are getting them for free, they're trying to make a little money too. So now we have Game of Thrones, we have Family Guy, we have all of these TV shows that we can find uh, Vikings and we have uh, the following a regular show every single season and they get updated Hannibal uh, tons of stuff Fargo that's a new one and it's got all kid shows too and if you wanted to you can click on genre and you could change it to like animation and or children or family or something like that but I'm gonna keep it on all because I want to see everything say we wanted to watch an episode of Hannibal we would click on it and you would be able to view more episodes at the bottom so basically you scroll down the page and you can see all the episodes that they have. Um, you can change the season that you want to be in. If you want to watch season one all over again, you can. So let's watch the latest episode of Hannibal, which just came out. And you have also subtitles, if they're available. Here's one in Russian. You know what? Let's play one in Russian. And we'll do it on medium, and we'll hit watch now. And you're going to see you're going to have Russian subtitles. They have Spanish subtitles. They have all that stuff. So now, like I said, it's going to load and buffer. And then once it gets far enough in the buffering, it's going to start playing our TV show of Hannibal. Like I said, it stutters a little bit in the beginning until it realizes that it's all set. And look, it's in Russian, not subtitles, it's in Russian voiceover. So that's good. And we could just turn it back to English if we wanted to. All right, so let's go back. And now we're gonna see, sometimes you get an advertisement, that's okay. We'll just click the little X there. You also get updates. So basically it'll tell you all the updates of all the shows that you have. It'll tell you this is what's being updated very soon, and it tells you what date it's going to be updated. So, all right. So now that is the application that we love so much on our Google TV because there's not a lot that we can get. That's Showbox. Now, there's this one, g2g.fm. And what this is is a web page. Uh, it's not even an app. So basically, you click that. It's opening up in my Chrome browser. And there we'll open in our Chrome browser. And basically, it's almost exactly the same thing as that other app. So let it open. This is the first time it's opening, so it's building. Uh, but every time you open it after that, it pretty much goes pretty quick. So now you have a whole bunch of labels across the top. Latest, and that will give you the latest ones. A to Z, TV series, movies, streaming only. And we're only going to stream on the Google TV. Episodes, it'll tell you which episodes they have. Music, and you can even download software for like your Mac or PC. This one's on any browser, and I mean it. Uh, you can go on a PC, Windows, Linux, anything that supports HTML5, you'll be able to do. So let's go now and scroll down and see what selection they have. So here we're, uh, right here in our latest page, and it mixes movies and TV shows, just like the other site. And if we went across the top and we just clicked on TV series, it's gonna load up just TV shows. And here we have just TV shows. Let's scroll a little bit through, and we'll see. They have a bunch of the same things, Sons of Anarchy, Vikings, Intelligence, Fargo. They got a whole bunch of stuff. Now, what I like about this page, and True Detective, check that out. So now, what I like about this page is when you click on a show, it gives you a little brief synopsis. You click it again, and it'll open it up, and it'll tell you all the episodes that they have. So here's the latest one. 
So let's click on that latest episode. And what it's going to do, it's going to open up this player. It's a web player. It's HTML5. And what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for it to load up. And once it loads up, you can hit the little play button. And right there, folks, it's just playing for you right there on the TV. And I'm going to show you that in a second. It's going to load up a little bit. Remember, my Wi-Fi connection is a little slow. So here we can click on the movie. Now, before I click on the movie, I'm going to show you something else. You could change the settings a little bit. And you can make it to HD or 480p or whatever you want. Now, this particular show doesn't have... Uh, the subtitle. Actually, it does. Once you start playing uh, the TV show, True Detective, you can pr pretty much play, hit the CC button here, close caption. And what you can do is you can select whatever... You have English captions, but it'll also transcode, uh, translate the captions for you. So we hit English here, a little drop down right there. And what we can do is pretty much select what language we want in subtitles. So let's click on this and basically if you click and hold this little slider you could pretty much slide down and pick any language you want all right let's click um, Korean and we'll hit OK and watch it turn from English to Korean there it is Korean subtitles so basically they have a bunch of languages I'm not sure how many but they have a lot of them and you're gonna love this look at that you're watching true detectives right over the Chrome browser on your Google TV So oh, think about it folks we have a bought our Google TV you weren't happy with it because everything got blocked everything got you know there's no apps for it you go on the Google Play and you got nothing so what do we do we sideload it four different things so we have G2 g.fm and we have our show box i showed you how to sideload them keep that dropbox on your on the dropbox app right on your google tv so that if you ever want to sideload using the apk downloader on your computer you can go ahead and do that if you have any questions leave them in the comments for now enjoy your free tv and movies and make sure you check out my other videos give me a like button have a nice day and i'll see you on the next video thank you